Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the six different fixes that you can use to fix the high battery drain on the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro. So if you have recently um, backup your iPhone and restored the backup to the new iPhone 13, then you may notice that after the setup, the phone uses up the battery quite quickly and it causes the phone battery to deplete uh, fast. So this is something that you can do. The, okay, so the first solution is to go back to your home screen and tap on settings. Okay, so tap on settings. And in settings, you want to go down and tap on general. Then go down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then tap on reset. And next, tap on Reset All Settings. Okay, next you need to put in the passcode. So put on the screen passcode to reset all the settings on your device. Now once you tap on Reset All Settings, your phone will start to reset. It will not erase any data on your device. It may cause you some inconvenience. Uh, for example, your photos library may get reset. Some of the locations get reset, uh, as well as Wi-Fi password. So you may need to do a few things to uh, set up your device again. But uh, other than that, it will not erase any of your data. You still have photos, contacts, everything stays the same except some settings. So most of the times this will probably fix most of your problem relating to battery drain. Now if you do not want to do this option first then we can go to option number two. So sometimes when you um, purchase a device your network carrier will provide you a sim card. Now if your sim card is not 5G compatible and your phone uses 5G network, it can cause battery problems and it will use up more battery. Now, even though if your SIM card is not 5G compatible, you still can use the 5G network on your device. The only problem is that it can cause battery issue. So you want to make sure that you have a SIM card that say 5G. So there should be some kind of a label on the back here saying 5G on the card and then you will know that the SIM card is compatible with your device so that when it is using or accessing the 5G network it will not cause a battery drain problem. So double check your SIM card if you are using 5G on your device then make sure that your SIM card is also supported or has 5G compatible. Okay the next solution is solution number three. Uh, in this solution you want to make sure that you turn off background apps refresh for some of the apps that's maybe running or using too much battery on the background. To do this, you can first find out which app is actually using up a lot of battery in settings. You can go down and tap on battery. And in here, if you go down, you look in the last 24 hours or in the last eight days, you can check to see which app is using up the most battery. Sometimes, the app is running on the background and it's actually using up your battery. So you might want to go in and turn off uh, the apps running on the background just to see if it's actually improve your battery performance. So to do that, you want to go into settings and then go down to general and then tap on background app refresh and then go in here and then just look through the apps and then uh, simply switch it off. For example, I can turn off Maps or uh, Facebooks and then you want to monitor your battery to see if it's uh, actually helping um, with the battery problems. Otherwise, you can also tap on background app refresh at the top here and choose off and that basically will turn off for all the apps. And then at this point, you want to monitor to see if the battery is improving. Okay, solution number four is to check for apps that is using location services on the background. Uh, one good example is Google Map. If you have Google Map on your iPhone, sometimes Google Map constantly running on the background using up your battery. So you want to go in here in settings, you want to go down to privacy. So let's find privacy. So you tap on settings, then privacy, 
and then tap on location services. Make sure it is turned on and then you go down and then you go through the list here. If there is Google Maps, try to switch it off or switch off any other apps that might be using your location service or you can turn it off altogether just to uh, monitor your battery and if it does improve the battery performance then you need then you know that uh, some of the apps or one of the apps is actually uh, using uh, too much location services on the background so try that and see how you go okay another thing that can cause your phone to drain the battery is when your phone is pairing with a trusted computer and iTunes will be running on the backgrounds and it calls your phone to show a background process such as Apple Music. So if you go into battery and in battery, sometimes you may see an app say Apple Music and it's using up quite a lot of battery and for no, and if you are not using uh, the Apple uh, Music app, and for some reason it's still using the battery, then it could be because your phone is connected to a trusted computer. Now again, if you have followed the step one, if you have followed step one, then if you reset your settings, so if we if you have uh, reset all settings on the device, then that would also have uh, disconnect your device to a trusted computer, and that can also uh, fix the problem. Otherwise, you can go to your uh, iTunes on a computer and then uh, disconnect it um, from your device. So this you disconnect the, your device on iTunes on the computer. So that is something that you can also try. And the last um, solution is if you just restore your iPhone from my backup, then sometimes it, can, it may take one or two days or several days uh, for the iPhone to uh, index and uh, reorganize the file system. So perhaps um, you might want to wait for a few days. Uh, initially, when you just set up the phone, it might do a lot of things on the background that you may not know of, and that can cause uh, the phone to use up your using up the processing uh, in in your device, and that will definitely cause um, the battery to um, to deplete quite quickly. So you might want to wait for a few days uh, for your phone to settle down and uh, hopefully that will improve your battery life or your battery um, power. So yeah, and hopefully one of those solutions will fix your battery drain on the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.